from being an orphan at six years old to being listed as one of Forbes magazine 30 people under 30 in Africa, meet Godfrey Magila, a survivor by nature and founder of Magila Tech. He's only 25 and is just getting started. Sorry. And where we run our operations, this is the room. So. I see it's very secure. Yeah, it's very secure. Uh, over here is where uh, most of our operations occur over here. What is this? Uh, this is our operation center where we, uh, we manage every, all of our services from this uh, mini data center. His company offers cybersecurity solutions and phone yeah. data backup and other ICT products for some of the country's top companies. He founded Magila Tech five years ago and now has 14 highly trained full-time staff. He and his team work around the clock to ensure that his systems are operating perfectly. And as Africa is adapting new technologies, we are very prone to different kind of uh, security risks in adapting these technologies, but also in developing these technologies. So we focus on looking on the areas that, uh, that would mainly create a, a risk that may be on business, that might be on any kind of technology that would be around. It is estimated that more than 700 million Africans use mobile phones. This offers a big opportunity for ICT growth in the continent. Lower price smartphones are driving the digital revolution in Africa. This allows many Tanzanians to access the internet at unprecedented levels. Now operators and developers like Megila are using the power of mobile networks to transform services in every part of life. ICT in Africa looks promising because as mobile technology penetration increases, more opportunities for developers like Godfrey Magila to exist are created. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.